All right, my people. So I've been seeing a lot of people in rank championships. When I go with Jeff Neal, they switch to MVP as if somehow that's going to get them a win against me or make it any easier to get a win against me in UFC 5. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. So right here, you guys are going to see two victims who made this mistake. So everybody that's watching this video, just know if you see Jeff Neal, it's me. And do not pick MVP or you'll end up exactly like these two guys. So here we're taking on Ingersi. Putting that pressure on him, trying to keep it in the pocket. Letting him know that, you know what, no matter what you do, I'm just that much better than you. Just taking our time. Look at him trying to, trying to feign off, trying to throw jabs off. Just staying straight up in his face. Look at him. He feels uncomfortable. Bet you regretting that MVP pick now, huh? Just walking him down. That leg kick ain't gonna work. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively. Look at that nice crispy clean four piece combination. Really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Uh landing two piece combos. Goes to the body there. That ain't gonna work. You too late. That his opponent can't keep up. We've seen him do it. Nice little double two piece combination into the body ribs. And he's so afraid of the combinations up top. He's leaving that body open damn near every single time. Yeah, he's hesitating Switching stances Thinking that's going to help him It ain't going to help you We still going to put this pressure on you uh, That uppercut hurts him That's what I'm talking about It's only a matter of time It's only a matter of time before I get you up out of here Oh he's lucky so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this uh, Two piece. Really he ain't block breaking. Okay, I'll give you credit for that elbow. Both unwilling to take a step back. I mean, he's been fishing for it all, all fight long. Better at least get a couple of them things. Uh, almost ate that head kick, though. Gotta be careful. We get real tricky out here in these parts, MVP. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Mm. You can see him getting frustrated too. He's missing a lot of these combos he's throwing. Closing that distance. Look at him. Those double kicks. It's the only offense he's got. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These All right, underneath the minute. Let's see if he tries to get a get back to try to steal this round. Okay, nice little body punches. We're ripping the same thing, though. That's not going to land. Putting the pressure on him. Put the heat on him with that three-punch combination. Uh, nice straight into a body rip. Knocked his ass down right there. Letting him know we're just that much better, bro. Oh, he got a lucky rock. Slapped him. Absolutely slept the man and he turned the game off as it that's how mad he got. He got so damn mad, ladies and gentlemen. He actually turned the game off. And I don't blame him because I'm just that much better. And that was just proven right there. Look at that read. Duck underneath into an uppercut. Puts him to sleep. With that being said, let's go ahead and go up against victim number two. And he's using Michael Venom Page again. We're going to make the same thing happen to this guy. The Savage 206 had no idea what he was getting himself into. But this guy looks like he's a little bit more willing to exchange inside the pocket. But it don't matter what he does. He's still putting that heat on. Missed on the uppercut. Blocked the body shot. Popping that jab off. Just misses with a left hook there. <laughs> Thinking that little teep kick's gonna do something. Active, right back in his face. Nice slip hook. Nice body that ain't landing. That basic combination. Nice little mix up three piece. If I was you, brother, I would stop going down to the body because that ain't gonna happen. 
Popping that jab off. Uh, eat that up. Look at him. He has no answer for what's happening to him. He has no idea. He's like, oh man, should I throw? Should I just throw a jab straight? Should I throw an elbow? Should I try to pull? It ain't gonna matter because that's gonna happen every single time. Nice jab, up you. Woo! We should have hit him with an uppercut. Ooh, head kick. Buddy doesn't even know the distance management with these elbows. Look at him, block counter elbow. Ah, right, UFC 5, giving him something for free. Look at him, just fishing for those pool elbows. Acting like that's about to save him. Nice uppercut. Whew. Jeff Neal's going to put it on you, bro. You better do something. Better have some kind of other offense other than them elbows. I'll tell you that. His opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this. Keep going to the well until his opponent finds Breaking that block down little by little. He seems lost to uh, overhand caught him perfectly. Look at a bobblehead. All right, all right. He thinks bobblehead is gonna save him. It ain't gonna do it, brother. It ain't gonna do it. You're gonna go to sleep. We just gotta take our time. Mm, nice minor step straight. So, body mix up. Uh, overhand almost caught him again. And look at him. He's not even inputting any strikes. He's just sitting there taking all these shots off the block. That block's going to go bye-bye. Uh, cracked him with that good lead hook. Dropped him. Look at that head health. It's looking real ugly. Mm -hmm. mm, body work. Body stun. I mean, can I have a more perfect first round than that? I heard him up top, dropped him twice, and ripped his body held down. I mean, I know he's sitting there thinking, damn, I didn't think that this would happen if I picked MVP. But hey, brother, you would be wrong. See, this is why you don't think. You just do. You feel me? You don't pick MVP. You pick somebody else when you see me using Jeff Neal. A jab already opened up that cut. Mm-mm. Caught him with that straight, hurt him. We're going to go ahead and take him down since he wants to move so damn much just to give him a different threat. Deny the full mount. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. We're just going to hold him here as long as we want. Look at him. Trying to gain all that GA. Now it's all swung into our favor. We're just working. We're holding them right here. Trying to teach them a lesson. Nah, you ain't getting that down transition, homie. I don't know who you thought we was. We got a black belt jujitsu over here. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. Look at him just holding on. He's trying to hold on. Landing that nice clean hook, not wasting all the stamina, not acting like a noob. This dude, bro. Just controlling the hell out of him, just dominating him here on the ground. Posturing up again. And I'm really just posturing up to, to drain the clock down until we get that full mount like we did right there. Posture up right here. Now we're going to try to get some ground and pound damage in, but got to give credit where credit is due. He actually was able to get off a nice little slip, but he got that denial, though. We got that denial, but he got a denial on the arm triangle, too. He knew what we was going for. Under two minutes here to go in round two. But <laughs> he, Michael Venom Page ain't going to be able to do nothing from here. He's just going to land some heavy damaging shots on that block, and a clean elbow stuns him. It's looking real bad for him here, ladies and gentlemen. Get them napkins out, because this player going to cry after we get him out of here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Making all these shots count. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. 
while hard to win fights working off we can just ride the rest of this round out if we want to see if he tries to get back to the oh he goes for a gilly though okay but little does he know we're gonna have fake ability right there and then we're gonna go for the half guard transition i don't know who he thought he was messing with you better recognize me For that, we're just going to hold you down. Just going to hold you down for the rest of the time. Go ahead, fake. Do all the fakes you want. Another dominant round right there. The first two rounds was easy. Light work. Light work. So in this third round, we're going to stop playing around. We're going to try to get him up out of here in this third round. We... We ain't playing around no more. Hit him with a nice straight. Mm, nice jab hook by him, though. I respect him standing and banging, though. Boy, fishing for them elbows, but it don't matter because we heard him right there. Look at him bobbleheading. Uh, caught him with a nice jab hook. Hurt him again. Rip into that body. Back up to the head. Get the clean knockdown. Uh, nice straight body shot and this is the beginning of the end and he knows it look at him just taking these shots off the block in the ground and pound scenario right here this dude might be able to survive and he actually did though it's crazy UFC 5 wasn't trying to give me that win but it's alright we'll let you up let you up that head health is real low mm, straight sits him down again now we right back. Gonna go for this arm bar right here because I noticed that stamina is low. He's draining that stamina all the way down, blocking that transition. Nice little arm bar. Gonna set up a finish on the feet. He just... This dude has no answer for what's happening to him. So we're going to give him a chance. We're going to give him an opportunity where he's strong at, on the feet. Come on, throw something. Do something. Uh, put him to sleep. That's how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we do it because I'm just better. That's what it is. I'm just better than anybody that uses MVP in this game. No lie. I got the best Jeff Neal in the world. Look at that. That jab hook. Knocked Michael Venom Page's front two teeth out. But that's it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. So remember, enjoy the rest of your day, evening, afternoon, depending on where y'all are watching this from. And recognize me as being one of the best players in UFC 5.